guys Michelle here I'm gonna be showing you how I made these beautiful bathroom accessories now I'm showing you what I use but everything I use for this project is listed in the description box but I do have some white paint and some black paint that I got from the Dollar Tree and what I'm gonna do first is combine the white and black paint together to make a light gray paint okay I'm also going to be using something called flow trail um, what it does is it allows the paint to flow and gives it sort of like that marbleized look so I'm gonna I'm going to go ahead and mix all of that up until I get a light gray color so I may need to add more white paint and I did also add about two tablespoons of flow trail to this and if you do this you can add more or less it just depends when you get done you just want it to have a, like a really drippy consistency so now I am mixing the white paint with the flow trail so you want to mix that up really really well and I'm adding some more white paint because I want it to have that really drippy drippy um, consistency so now what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm taking another empty cup and I'm pouring some gray in then I'm pouring some white in and I'm just going to alternate back and forth until I get about a third of a cup because that should be enough to cover two pieces of the uh, bathroom accessories and in another video I am going to be doing um, an, a piece of art using the same method so the first thing I'm doing here is I am putting some tape on the inside of the toothbrush holder which I'm not going to be using as a toothbrush holder because I don't like my toothbrush to be out but I'm going to use it as a vase but if you want to use it as a toothbrush holder that is absolutely fine um, another thing you could do is probably like stuff this with plastic um, like a plastic bag or something like that you just don't want the paint to get down in there because you would just be wasting a lot of paint basically so I'm just taking some painters tape and I am doing my best just to kind of close up the two holes in the piece. I'm applying the paint very, very slowly. Now, I did speed the video up so that the video wouldn't be really long. But when you do this, you want to take your time and really pour it slowly and allow it to go down the whole edge of the piece before you pour some more on there, okay? It looks like I'm going fast, but I'm really not. I'm really going really, really slow. Slow it down just so you can see how slowly I'm actually applying the paint to this piece and I'm turning it around to see you know wherever there's a gap because you don't want to leave any gaps at the end of this whole process this entire piece has to be completely covered and if you think you want to try to do this without the flow trail it's not gonna work because the paint is not going to have that um, sort of like the paint sort of looks like an oil paint versus an acrylic paint the flow trail is what gives it that look so it's not gonna work as well it's not probably gonna work at all <laughs> without the flow trail so the flow trail is really inexpensive um, I have an Amazon link in the description box I believe it is sold at Michaels as well okay so when I get done pouring this as you can see I have it sitting on top of a plastic cup I did that so that whenever I get done applying the paint I can move it aside by grabbing onto the cup at the bottom okay because you do not want to touch this until it's completely dry and this took about this took about four to six hours to dry to the touch okay second piece and again I am moving slowly but I did speed up the video so that it wouldn't be so long um, but I'm actually going very slow and I do apologize for my camera being out of, of uh, focus and I didn't realize that it was but it's a very this is the very same process as what I used on the first one 
you're just gonna take your time and go very slowly and for this to dry it's gonna take around four to six hours so you want to have somewhere where you can put it aside once you get all the paint on it the way that you want it to so now that this one is finished I'm gonna carefully put it aside making sure not to touch it and I used a piece I used a piece of an aluminum foil below it and I did that so that I could capture the paint that was left over so that I could use it for another project now this is the way it looks it's gonna have a little bit of a dull look after it's dry but in order to give it that nice high shine and to protect it I used the rust-oleum triple thick and clear gloss okay and it gave it this nice shiny finish very shiny finish and now I'm going to show you what it looks like in my bathroom. Like I said, I am using it as a vase, but you can use it as a toothbrush holder. That would not be a problem. So guys, I want to thank you all for watching. I have some pictures at the end. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with someone. And I will see you in the next one.